All right, hey, good morning. Sunday morning from the storage unit and getting ready to grab the trailer. Ain't no days off, and man, where do I begin? Uh, based on the title of this video, you already know what it is, and I'm sure I'm gonna catch all sorts of hell behind this. So, Damon's back. Damon, what up? What's up? All right, Damon's back. Damon's at 100%, and he's been back with me since yesterday. Um, now I had mentioned this first on Facebook and there was some one guy giving me a bunch of shit. He was like, damn, you blast Damon, fire him in video and blast him for 20 minutes in the video. And now you got him back. Hey Damon, I'm sorry. I blasted you for 20 minutes in a video and I, oh yeah, you don't want to watch that video. Then I said, uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to watch that video. Uh, you might quit after that, to be honest, but Hey, we got Damon back. So um, not really sure what to say about all of that except for, man, a good help is hard to find and everybody, everybody got their quirks, I guess. So, uh, I realized how badly, oh, I missed Damon, especially when I had the three knuckleheads that I had who weren't worth a fuck just the other day. So I know I'm going to catch hell about the whole Damon situation and fair enough. But like I said, when I had those knuckleheads the other day, I sure realized how much I missed this guy. Somebody else had made a comment and sa they said something along the lines of this business isn't going to work. Joe started this business because he had Damon and Damon would do all the work. So Joe wouldn't because Joe don't want to work. <laughs> Yo, look, Joe be getting it in more than I do. If anything, he puts it in more than anybody else. Man, I appreciate that. And Damon's not just saying that. That is the absolute fucking truth. I work harder than anybody that I have. And the reason for that is because that's what I have to do. I'm not downplaying anybody that I have who is worth a fuck. Damon is worth a fuck. Uh, but there's definitely been some issues. I addressed that. Damon, you ought to go watch that video and... We should get your reaction afterwards. Um, it does make me feel good when I come back and you're like, hey man, I'm glad you're back. It seems like every time you leave, everything goes to shit. It kind of makes me feel kind of good. Yeah. Well, you are definitely my top dog. Um, so Damon's been back with me since yesterday and yesterday was a breath of fresh air in comparison to the day before when I had the three knuckleheads because yesterday I didn't just have Damon. I had Lauren. I had... Marvin and Damon. It was the four of us in these big ass units that I've really not even begun to show you the biggest units yet. Uh, we got like a unit and a half almost completed yesterday. We had two sprayers going. I now have three sprayers in total. I've got the Pro 19, two X7s, and this Pro 19 ain't nothing but the truth. So, we're running two sprayers in these units because they're that big, we have to do that. Um, and today we also have another full unit we have to do and it has to get done like today because there's people moving in on Tuesday. I know I've been bitching a lot. I know I've been bitching about the people that I've been finding and you know, uh, Joe, what do you expect? Look at where you're finding these folks from and you guys have some valid points. I know people are saying, Joe, you're the worst person when it comes to uh, human, uh, what's the human resources or your people skills. I don't fucking care. Uh, I know I need to work on the people skills and I try, but I have a short tolerance, huh? <laughs> I have a short tolerance for fucking any kind of stupidity at all. And with as hard as I'm personally working, you know, let, uh, that's just a part of it. But yesterday I didn't film. Somebody said, Joe, just go back to magnet fishing. The fucking painting business ain't gonna last six months. I mean, I'm just trying to clear out the truck. <clears throat> well, I'm grateful to have Damon back. I'm sorry that I blasted him in video. It was, uh, you know, the emotions were high. I was disappointed as I tend to be a lot of times, not just, well, anyways, there's no real good excuse for it. I was wrong for doing so. I probably should have not. And here we are. I will admit that major fuck up on my part. Shouldn't have done it. I acted out of emotion. 
Another person said, Joe, as the boss, you know, you cannot fly by the seat of your pants running off emotion. You're absolutely right. The situation with Bill, Bill calling me a clown, me, you know, wanting to react to that. I really bit my tongue because of the implications that could have had, you know, that could have had some really bad implications. You called me a clown. Okay, a lot of people said, you know what, Bill is right, Joe, you are a clown. You're a clown for the way that you handle people and deal with people and treat people. I gotta, I gotta wear that. I'll be the clown. I damn sure don't look like no clown though, do I? Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh, Joe. Anyways, hey, I wanna do better. I wanna have better people. And you know what, you gotta appreciate people. I didn't appreciate you, Damon, when I made the video and I blasted you for 10, 10, uh, 20 minutes. Um, are you smoking in my truck? God damn, man. I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, I want to I want to do better with people. Um, but if you ain't worth a fuck work wise, man, I'm not. You know, I really ain't got a whole lot of <laughs> kumbaya shit for you. Just to be honest. Anywho. We gotta grab the trailer because we gotta grab pretty much freaking everything. We've got parts of our life left all over the place and we need to go collect all of our stuff, regroup. Today, we gotta finish up the unit from yesterday which is damn near done. This is a unit that we basically started yesterday. The first unit from the new property has been cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, the second unit from that new property, the biggest one yet, which today we've got another of those biggest ones, uh, is almost done and we're starting and going to try to finish another biggest one which hopefully is only just a touch up for real uh, because that's what they want they said look it, people who had only lived in it for two months let's see if we can get it touched up we're going to try to go for that uh, so a lot to do and then tomorrow we got to go try to figure out what's going wrong with the other property and try to get that corrected um, I'm sorry for the way that I've been acting treating people it's been high stress it's taken a major toll in my personal life it's taken a major toll on me my just overall well-being seven days a week 10 plus hours a day but i like it i mean the the work aspect of it i like being busy anyways let's get loaded up loaded out and hey damon's back glad to have you back damon Glad he's back. Good morning from the first unit at the new property. And she is so close to being done. So, well, she really is done. We just gotta clean up the things, get some overspray off these outlet plate covers. Uh, yeah, a lot of touch up took place up in this unit. Hell of a lot of touch up took place. Mini cakes. But yeah, man, she's all the way put back together, so that's good. Ooh, a lot of overspray on that outlet plate right there. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah, we're going to be moving on. We're going to be moving on and finishing up the other unit, which is upstairs. I'm going to show you that one in just a minute. So you can see how we've been touching up around the ceilings where there's been overspray and... What I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to try to spray the ceilings upstairs. Not the entire ceilings, but just where we've had some overspray. I want to test that theory and hopefully that's going to be a lot faster for us in terms of trying to clean up overspray. So everything's put back together. Looks real good. Yeah, so this unit is pretty much done. Um, nothing much to do up in here. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you. And again, you can see how that is right there. Yeah, major difference in that ceiling paint. But I hate to say that it is what it is and it really shouldn't be that because, whew, I'm gonna have to clean that tub out. Um, we need to get better about overspray. That's the short of it. We just need to get better about overspray and Hopefully we're going to do that. Upstairs this unit doesn't have as much overspray because Lauren and I were doing that unit and I'm about to go show you how that one looks. All right, welcome to the next unit right here, folks. And this sucker is massive. 
So here we are in the entry, and you can see, I mean, it's 20 foot ceilings in here. Mm. Yeah, she's massive. So I'm looking at how the paint came out in here. And for the most part, it looks pretty good. I don't see a lot of splotchiness. Went right there, gotta hit that. There's a mess. Do some touch up up there. I don't think I ever hit up there. I definitely didn't do that. Probably touch that up right up there as well. I got a couple of little spots right there that I'm looking at. In here, I know I went around here for the second time. Everything's looking good up in here. So this is a freaking massive, freaking massive unit right here. Yeah, right there looks a little light. We could probably hand paint all of that in there, but again, a little bit of overspray. Um, there's a little bit of overspray. Definitely some misses right there as well. Whew. Right there. So yeah, we could probably go through and brush those in. Um, and that's what we're gonna try to do. So in this unit, we've still gotta do touch up on the walls, uh, trim, and bathrooms and kitchens and that had literally just been started a little bit yesterday so here's the laundry room right here uh, this has been painted I think one coat this is pretty much good just a little bit of touch up up in here nothing major we got a major leak right here and that thing is full of water down there we actually put a little Tupperware down there to catch the water and that's how much leaking that's doing and Walking the rest of these units, we sprayed all the closets, the insides of the closets, no overspray in the hallway for real. So that's good. Looks pretty good. And here's where it is, folks. I call this the cathedral. These ceilings are so freaking tall. Damn, I see some light spots up there. Just a little bit. It was this back wall that I really wanted to make sure I didn't have light spots in because I knew this sucker was gonna be just a bitch moving this, this ladder around so ah crazy 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 all right so yeah this is the second unit and we've got a third unit oh and real quick that uh, water spot right there it's not even a water spot this water damage from a leak in the roof and you can see that that leak goes right there and well it was coming right down here I, well there it is right there yeah, you can see it right there. So it comes down, it's definitely a leak in the roof. Um, but yeah, I've made them aware of that. I've had a lot of rain this last week, so I'm sure that thing has gotten nothing but worse. And yeah, so this unit is pretty much almost done. Not much to do for real, just minor touch up shit. We can go around and knock, knock that out real quick. Uh, hit the ceilings, get those knocked out and then move on to the next unit. So hopefully we'll be able to blast through that next unit real quick. Only time will tell. So far it's Damon and I and still waiting on Lauren to get here. She said she would be here today. And it's 8.40. I think I'm pretty sure I said 8.30. And she ain't here. So, oh boy. We will see how this plays out. All right, ain't no sense in waiting around. Let's get to work. Share more in a little bit. Hey, did I tell you Damon's back? God, am I glad to have him back. Let's get it. All right. Uh, I think it's 8.50 in the morning, somewhere around there. And Lauren is again, no show. Message twice, there's no response. Say less. I get it. I get it. So, it's definitely gonna be a trying day today. Um, Maybe I deserve this, karma, all that good shit. Yes, Joe's gonna struggle like shit today. Um, thank God I got Damon. Uh, even with him and I, still gonna be a lot of work. So the other unit is needing to be completed like today. We haven't even started that unit. And I'm half tempted to just abandon this unit and go start that unit or 
and then get this unit like early next week, Monday, somewhere like that. I think if, if we don't hear nothing from Lauren, which I surely hope that we do, but if we don't, because you know this is per usual, we've dealt with this plenty of times with her. If we don't hear anything, I think we might as well call that, um, we might as well pronounce that situation dead. And that sucks. Um, yeah, I was complaining about the spraying of that one unit, but you know, I realized that wasn't necessarily completely her fault. Had she gone back and checked for heavy hits, it could have been corrected. So even with the blown out tip, hey, people paint with blown out tips all, all the time. And they're still able to do quality work. It might be a little more work than with a, with a good tip, but it can be done. And all it takes is just paying attention, seeing what you've done, going back, checking stuff. It certainly is not impossible. But even though I was kind of not feeling that situation at all, this is way worse. This is way worse. And that sucks. You know, I was just sitting here uh, thinking that yesterday was just such a good day. I thought, you know, everything went well. This would be cause for me to be freaking out, to be honest. Can you imagine if I didn't have Damon today? Woo, Joe, you, sh you should be counting your lucky stars you've got, dude. Oh, I am, trust me. I most certainly am. If you ain't gonna show up, at least tell me, hey, you know, nah, not Chief, I'm good. I'm good, Chief. I ain't gonna be there. You knew what it was with me. You knew I wasn't reliable for shit. God damn, I hate this camera, man. This thing is always just cutting off whenever it wants to, and it doesn't make any noise. I need to turn the sound settings on so I know when this damn thing is cutting off. What I was saying, though, was, you know, if you wasn't going to show up, you could have at least, at least done me the solid of letting me know. Nah, Chief. I ain't gonna be there today. You already knew what it was with my reliability. You already knew. Should've known better that I weren't reliable. I should've, I guess. I really should've. But, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. I really was trying to do that. Thinking, you know, and it's a pretty easy job. You're making decent money. But anyway, speaking of unreliable people from Craigslist, I am certainly hoping some of these folks from Indeed hit me up. All right, let's get the sprayer out and finish touching this thing up. All right, good morning from the next full unit. Yes, sir. So here she be. Now, this one is uh, one that they said we could do a touch up in. And the problem is, is there's gonna be stuff that we gotta definitely hit completely. Um, I'm gonna show you. Uh, people keep saying, or not people keep saying, but people have said, uh, Joe, you know, you're doing shitty work, whatever. You wanna rush, 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 shitty work. Well, I wanna show you uh, what was acceptable before so I really hope that you can see these lines in this and what you're seeing right there is Misses those are straight holidays right there folks. That is all misses and if you can see it right there see it right there all misses see it up there all misses up there and This unit was just painted two months ago um it's just, I hope you can see how light that is. You probably can't see. Let me see if I can get out the way. If you can see, I mean, it's just straight misses. 
Stray misses. And this was acceptable. Not only this, but this. Let's look at this casing right here. Oh, Joe, you're doing, you're doing shitty work, Joe. Well, look at this casing. That casing is completely just oversprayed. It wasn't even touched up. It was just, hey, it was just left that way. That's what it was, just straight up left that way. I bet this looks like shit. Yep, super light in here as well. Just real bad work. So, they said, hey, Joe, can you come in and do a touch-up? The people are moving into this thing on Tuesday. And when I came and I looked at this and I realized that this was eggshell, I was like, oh, you know, we're going to have to paint everything that we touch because it's eggshell. And, you know, of course, I want to try to spot paint this where I can. But the fact is, I probably ain't going to be able to spot paint very much of this. Uh, this is a good example of a wall right here. I hope you can see it's just straight. It's, it's just straight shit work. The only thing that they did okay was their cut lines. And let me tell you what they did. They brushed in their cut lines. I can see that. They brushed in their cut lines and then they sprayed everything else. Um, yep. Probably didn't even use shields on this. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like they used shields on this. So we got to have this unit done today. Uh, and it's going to be a fair amount of work. There's already some patch stuff that I see. I, my, I got to park my truck way the hell down the street because there's no way to get to this. It's in a, it's in a little cut. But the good news is it's in relatively decent shape. So we are going to try to spot paint as much of it as we possibly can. And oh yeah, by the way, there's no AC. Here's the AC unit sitting in the kitchen. Good deal there. Sure hope they get that fixed before these people move in here. <sighs> yeah, I do. Mm. Okay, so anyways, this is the unit that we got. And again, it is 1030 in the morning and no Lauren. No call, no show, number four. Ain't that crazy four of those, but that's what I get. Joe, you deserve that because you are a piece of shit. So what do we do around here? I'm just curious to see what, like, so we just straight over sprayed on that, like, fuck it. And the other unit, we got that same exact thing. We actually cut that in with white. It looks really good. Uh, we sprayed all of that. Uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to see what the, what the standard was prior to me getting into this. And... Standard is certainly a hell of a lot lower. The only thing that they've done better than we've done is their cut lines for their ceilings. With our overspray and shit like that, we are still trying to get better with that. But anyways, I've got the paint that I need. This is an eggshell unit. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be flat. I wish it was because it would be really easy to touch up. But I'm getting ready to get set up on this thing and get rocking and rolling, so let's get to it. 10.58, <clears throat> ready to start spraying I'm gonna try to touch it up and hopefully that's gonna work no idea if it will though it may be okay so one thing that I didn't consider and I probably should have is the fact that these are textured walls and Textured walls will certainly hide the paint as well. If it, so flat walls like we got at that one property ain't no hiding nothing but that. But these walls being textured, there could be a little more room for workability for doing touch-up. It's just the touch-up they told me. I 
like to live. What are these? These are those KN95 masks. Check this out. I've been wearing this. See all that paint that it's stopping? That's how you know it stops that virus. Because look at all that paint it stopped. It's all in my mustache. It's all in my nose. Whew. And mind you, mind you now, I've already blown my nose. It was way worse. Huh. It was way worse just a little bit ago. Those masks ain't doing shit. It's all in my eyes. My eyes are burning. Ah. So it's crazy I gotta come all the way back to the first unit to get fucking water. Cause we don't got no water, we don't got no AC at either of these other two units. I'm filling up my water bottles. I'm getting ready to go right back. In the hour that I've been painting, I've gotten the big room done. I've gotten the closet done. Uh, and just to put that in perspective, yesterday, that big room took me two hours to paint. So to know that I've gotten it painted in an hour, plus the closet, I'm tracking pretty good. I would imagine another hour and a half, I got the whole apartment done. Oh my God. But the masks ain't doing nothing. All right, I'm loaded up on everything. We'll check on Damon real quick, see how he's looking. There's not a lot that's going to need to be done in this third unit in terms of bathrooms and kitchens. It really is just a lot of touch-up. Seems like it's in pretty good shape. How you doing in here? Say what? Okay, what about the back bathroom? Perfect. Hell yeah. Looks damn good. Damn, it's good to have you back. Hell yeah. Go. Nothing. The other unit's going pretty well. So it's not going to be that bad i'll be done spraying that within the next hour and a half um all right are you still gonna uh do the sounds that with the spray gun yeah but i'm not doing that till ass last i might not even do that till tomorrow morning okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna jump in the trim finish the trim and then uh start touching up where i see the walls but i mean there's really not much huh there's really not much to be done with that Trim, I mean, doors and shit, I would literally just wipe them down. I'm gonna uh, take a wet rag and just kind of wipe them down a little bit and just spot them out. All right, well, I'll be back within about an hour and a half to check on you. All right. mm. I gotta film on my phone because I don't know where the GoPro's at. I know this trim is wet, so. Well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I've been done spraying this unit. I've been on trim for just a little bit now. I've already done the back bedroom. Haven't done the closet in the back bedroom, nor the bathroom. And really all I'm doing is just touching up this trim. Uh, my back is killing me, so. Some comments saying, Joe, you need to find time to work out. Man, I ain't got time to take a shit, to be honest. 
I came home yesterday and felt like I was rushing to do that. I mean, I was, because I came home and I was going out for dinner with my wife and had to hurry up to try to use the bathroom on the way out the door. Times is, times is pretty tough. Um, so Damon's over at the other unit. He should be getting close to wrapping that up. I'm gonna go over there and check on him in a little bit, see if I can find that freaking GoPro camera. I don't know what the hell I did with that. But he's been sitting here doing a lot of thinking and figured I'd share with y'all. I haven't had a day off in two weeks, 14 days straight, just going. And I'm not even complaining. Like, seriously, I enjoy the work. Maybe that's not a good thing. You know, workaholic, uh, addicted to work. Enough is never enough. Somebody said, nobody's gonna care about your money the way that I care about my money. That's a saying that I've used quite a bit. And somebody said that and said, Joe, they don't care. It's not their thing, it's your thing. You know, you need to make sure that the shit's getting done. Ultimately, it's on you, who you have, who you keep around, if you see that they're not worth a fuck. Uh, it's, it's your fault. It's your fault if it works out, it's your fault, especially if it doesn't work out. And speaking of doesn't work out, I just think to myself, man, what the hell? You know, it sucks about this chick more. She'll probably hit me up later on, or maybe she won't, saying, oh, my bad, you know, I overslept, my alarm didn't go off, some dumbass shit. Be ready to come back to work on Monday, uh, Monday refreshed. But it ain't like she ain't fresh. She's had plenty of days off throughout the week and last weekend. Friday, Thursday. And you know, if you need a day off or if you don't want to work, just tell me. I could have made all the fucking arrangements and had some help out here today. So that Damon and I ain't out here trying to kill ourselves getting two whole units done. It's a little frustrating. Got my wife mad at me that I'm working all the damn time. Man, I just can't fucking win, it feels like. I just can't win. And you figure people should be proud of me. I'm proud of me. But all I get is bitch that. My, my father called me a self-serving ice cream cone because I couldn't call, because I couldn't make a phone call. I didn't have the information to make the phone call, first of all. And second of all, man, I've been busy. I've been on this shit. 24-7, it feels like. Up at 3, 4 o'clock every morning. You know, that comment, that shit hurt me. Called me a self-serving ice cream cone. You sure are a self-serving ice cream cone. He bought a car seat for my, my son. I almost sent that shit back. But that was pride. And you know, I got a tough time trying to put that aside. But I ain't gonna lie, it's a bitch. Feeling like, man, you're doing so much, you're trying to do so good, and you are doing so good. I'm doing so good. I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm trying to balance all these responsibilities whether it be all this painting work or the landscape job that I haven't given up on yet, but you know, I may put that off. I wouldn't just bail on them, but I'd make sure somebody else was in line to take over that shit. But I'm doing all this shit, all this positive shit, making these videos, trying, you know, getting killed in the comments about my people skills and my lack of manager, uh, managerial Experience, Joe, you ain't no boss. You don't know how to deal with people. You fucking damn right I don't. 
Have I told you how much I don't really like people? Have I told you how much I hate relying on people? Well, Joe, you're in the, the wrong business. You need to get into a business where you can do it solo. You need to create an OnlyFans. I don't know. And again, you know, you talk about the pride. If I could do it all myself, I would. If I could do it, if I could be that self-serving ice cream cone to do all this shit myself, I damn sure would. But I mean, that's ultimately unrealistic. And, and you know, at the very least, thank God for Damon today and yesterday. Thank God for Damon being back and I hope that he'll stay back and I hope that he'll stay in the right frame of mind. You know, hey, who am I to judge, right? This isn't an after prison show anymore. You know, we're not advocating for drug-free lifestyles. If you want to do things on your own time, do them on your own time. But like I had said, one of my biggest issues was don't let it affect the job. And if ever it does, you got to go. So maybe we just consider this like, the, you know, the... Look at that. One more chance. And I hope he does right. Joe, you should try and talk to him. Joe ain't trying to talk to nobody, to be honest with you. Joe ain't got nothing to say. What can I say? Hey, you shouldn't do things like that. I mean, it's not my life. It's absolutely your life. Yeah, you're right. Who am I to interfere? I'm not God. I'm not Dr. Phil. Whew. I'm a self-serving ice cream cone. I need to find that GoPro. It's going to bother me. I've been moving at 100 miles an hour today and you ain't telling me where the hell I left off with that thing at. So I was doing this trim earlier. When I first started this trim, I would be made to realize that it's not flat, I mean, uh, semi gloss white paint. I would realize that pretty quick as soon as I put the first brush to casing and say, oh shit, but I used my brain and I remembered, wait, in the paint locker that they have here, there's a whole bunch of paint that I had no idea what it was. It was some kind of shell white and I figured that had to be this. And sure as shit, it is. Because now had I gone and tried to use that bright white semi-gloss uh, paint, <laughs> Oh man, we have been in a world of shit. With that not matching up. And had I had one of my Craigslist flunkies, dare I say, because there's been some flunkies, you know, I could have had them on that task, not paying attention, trying to do something else, and come back at the end of the day and realized, holy shit. We just painted all the trim and we just touched up all the trim in this house with the wrong color paint. And now mind you, because it would have been one of these Craigslist less than experienced painters claiming to have painting experience, they would have probably noticed or not paid attention. That's probably the better way to put it. They probably would not have paid attention to the fact that the, the color was off by just a little bit. And then by the end of the day, I'd be like, "Ooh, we got this job done. We, we, we took care of three units for this property at the ass end of the week. Like literally all three of these units, um, you know, kind of got popped on us middle of the week, the first unit. And then there was another unit right when we started the first unit. And then yesterday, literally yesterday, Saturday. Saturday afternoon, as a matter of fact. You know, I'd be told about this unit that had to be done because the people are moving in by Tuesday. And, you know, I was told, hey, it's just a touch up, but it was eggshell. We didn't have enough flat paint to do this unit. So I was thinking, okay, we're gonna have to wait till Monday 
I'll order the paint. I'll go pick the paint up, and then we'll get on it and we'll work all day and all night on Monday to get this unit done. Um, but again, using my brain, I was like, wait a minute, they got a paint locker here. Let me go check. Because after I saw this unit and realized that this was already gray, just needing a touch up, but it was eggshell, I said, let me go check that unit or that paint locker. And sure as shit, they had some eggshell in there. Now, I want to say this, and I hate to say this, uh, this paint job <clears throat> certainly is not the greatest. Um, it's better than what it was, that's for damn sure. But, you know, had I had some more time, you know, we would have done just a hell of a lot better of a job. I didn't even take any outlet plate covers off. Like, I figured the lesser of the two evils is just clean those. Clean those. All right. I'm probably going to finish up this door. And then I'm going to go check on Damon and see if I can get him over here with me. Because he should be damn near done. There really wasn't that much trim that had to be done over there. Oh, there's the GoPro right there. So I would have never thought that the damn GoPro would be sitting right there. Well, at least it's not in the wrong hands. There's some incriminating stuff on that GoPro. On that memory card. I'm just kidding. No, there's not. Joe doesn't do a damn thing. All Joe does is paint. I work hard for a living. Yeah, I do. Some might even say too hard. Others might say not hard enough. Joe, you ain't, you ain't shit. You're just a fucking self-serving ice cream cone. Huh. All right, I would hope Damon is done over there because I surely need him to get over here so we can bust this thing out. Four forty-four. That ought to be a lucky number. Uh. Unfortunately for us, for me, we're nothing lucky about today. We got through today, if that counts for anything. Damon and I did. Major shout out to Damon for being back with me. God, could you imagine if he wasn't? And it was just I today. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway, so didn't hear from Lauren at all today. Will I hear from her? Is she officially done of her own, you know, on her own accord? Uh, and what, do, you know, if she's not, do I make her done? But anyways, we'll cross that bridge tomorrow. We ain't got but one unit going tomorrow so far. And we've got probably some corrections to go make at the color change unit. Ain't nothing like working your ass off all weekend knowing damn well Monday morning you're going to hear about it. And um, can't do nothing but accept it. Can't do nothing but, uh, what do they say, eat crow, something like that. Because, um, hey, if there's mistakes and we made those mistakes, damn it, we got to get those mistakes right. Speaking of mistakes, ah, man. Ah, uh, you know. Woo! There's always mistakes. There's always mistakes and there's always room for growth. Um, like for example, earlier, I was painting the trim with the, with the semi-gloss paint and uh, thank God that I saw that when I did and I was able to go get the right paint because that could have been bad. Um, also, this unit could be better. It certainly could be better. The problem is, is we just don't got time. We don't got time, it looks, Swell enough. You know. I guess it looks swell enough. We've hit all the trim. We've touched up all the walls. We've gone through all the closet. But there's still little things here and there. Little small things that. Man we just ain't got time to fuck with. It. We don't. It's the end of the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. Man I'm trying to have some time to rest. Because tomorrow we got to get an early start on it and get out here and finish up those other two units. And what's to do with those other two units? Well, we gotta clean them out because there's so much shit still in them. 
We got to get all the paint up out of there. We got to paint the front doors. And really that's it. I think Damon said there was like a handrail that needed to be painted. Um, and I got to touch up some ceilings because there was some overspray in the ceiling. And I found the ceiling paint, so hopefully that's gonna work out a lot better. The day is over with. Damon's back, Lauren's gone, and the cycle continues. Uh, tomorrow, we will see what they have to say at the other property. Is it gonna be major catastrophic shit where, you know, maybe we lose that property? God, I hope not. Is it going to be correctable? Is it going to be them making a big deal out of nothing in an effort to try to get over? I really don't think that's the case, but you never know. You know, uh, you got to take this shit with a grain of salt and never put all your eggs in one basket. And let me tell you something. I saw today there was another painter out here. So are we competing? Um, is this the old painter they couldn't keep up or, you know, they said that all of his workers got sick with COVID? Speaking of which, all these mask that i bought weren't worth shit i did notice that that guy was a one-man band but he was doing a little small unit we've done three big ass units in like four days so anywho that's it for today um hey damon hey thanks for coming back man shit, i appreciate you bringing me back If it ain't nothing else, it'll be Damon and I. And um, we're getting up out of here. Sunday, about 5 o'clock. It'll be well after 5. It'll be almost 6 o'clock by the time we get home. We got to stop by the storage unit, drop off the trailer. We got to clean out the spray machine. We got to clean out all the brushes, clean out the tubs. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for taking the time. Shout out to Damon. Damon. And uh, talk with you again tomorrow. Take care.